What's going on guys, Fade and Louie here, bringing you guys a brand new video. We're gonna be doing a mid fade on my boy, so stay tuned. We started off by picking out the hair and combing everything into place, making sure everything's nice and neat and that his hair combed out. Now that we're done laying down his hair, we can move on to our NST outliners and create our first guideline. I'm making sure I contour this guideline to his head shape so that the fade can flow better. Now that we're done balding him out, we can move on to debulking the sides with a one and a half guard all the way open. That's equivalent to a two guard all the way closed. But since we're going with the grain, it's not going to take down that much hair and it's going to leave enough hair for us to blend into. Now that we're done debulking the sides with our one and a half guard all the way open, we could then move on to our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. You usually want to make this guideline around an inch thick so you can spread the blend. Now that we're done setting in our second guideline, we could then slightly close the lever midway and all the way close and attack that initial guideline at the bottom. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, I'm going to go ahead and use my one guard all the way open to go with the grain and debulk on the sides. Now I'm using my one guard all the way open to create my third guideline. I'm also going to use this same guard to soften up this line and get ready for the half guard. I hope you guys are enjoying the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, it's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to show some extra support, go ahead and leave a follow down below on the Instagram. Now that we're done using our half guard, we're going to go ahead and use our one and a half guard to go with the grain and debulk as much as possible. Now that we're done with our lower guards, we're going to go ahead and start shaping up the sides and, and connect the top to the bottom. Here I'm switching back to my one and a half guard and I'm going to go with the grain as much as possible without debulking too much of the sides. I'm gonna do a Q&A video soon, so go ahead and leave some questions and I'll leave some answers in the next video.
cutting extremely curly hair, you always want to make sure you want to lay the hair down with your comb and also detangle it as much as possible. Now that we're done detailing the sides, we can move on to the back and start off with our no guard all the way open. Once you're done setting in that guideline, you then want to slightly close the lever midway and all the way close and attack that initial guideline at the bottom. Before we get into our next guideline, I'm going to shape it up a little bit just to clean it up. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we could then move on to our one guard all the way open and use it to create our third guideline. Remember, we're also going to use this same guard to soften up this line and get ready for the half guard. Now we're going with the grain with our one and a half guard again. This is right on top of the absorber bone, so we want to make sure we detail and line it up as much as possible here. Using my one guard all the way open, I'm going to detail as much as possible, especially near the C-cup area because there's a little bit of darkness that I wanted to remove. Before we do his front line, we're going to go ahead and shape up the front just to clean it up. Now that we're done debulking his front line, we can then lose our comb to lay his hair down. We're also going to use a little bit of Tresemme hairspray to make the hair stay in place. Using our NST outliners, we're going to start off at the middle and work our way to the sides and we're going to go as slow as possible making sure that the hair feeds into the teeth of the trimmer. You also want to make sure not to press too hard because you could bite them with the teeth of the trimmer. If now we're moving on to the C cup. I usually start off at the bottom and work my way to the top arch, but I started off at the top and then worked my way to the bottom arch.
It's always best to go back and detail the fade once you're done lining them up because then it reveals some dark spots that you usually didn't see. Now that we're done putting it in the front line, we could then use our curl sponge to make them as curly as possible. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to show some extra support, go ahead and leave a follow down below on the Instagram. Now that we're done detailing the fade, we can move on to our Turkish Razor and Derby Premium Blades and make them as crispy as possible. When you're using your razor, you always want to keep it at a 45 degree angle and stretch the skin as much as possible with your opposite hand. This is going to lower the likelihood of you cutting someone. I also make sure I sharpen up his light eyebrows but keep them as natural as possible. What's going on guys, Fade Lua here, bringing guys a brand new video. We're going to be doing a mid-fade of my brother, so stay tuned. We started off by saturating the hair and combing everything in place, making sure our canvas is nice and neat. Now that we're done laying down the hair, we can move on to our gold FX and create our first guideline. 
We're gonna make sure we contour this guy's line so his head shape so that the fade can follow better and it's more unique to him. Now that we're done bodying him out, we can move on to our next step, but before we make our second guideline, we're gonna debulk the sides with the three guard all the way open. As you guys can see, I'm feeding the hair into the clipper using my comb and I'm flicking out as much as possible. I could use my clipper over comb here, but before I do that, I'm gonna use my foreguard and I'm still using the comb to feed the hair into the clipper. Now that we're done debulking the sides, we can move on to our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to show some extra support, go ahead and leave a follow down in Instagram. Now that we're done setting in our second guideline, we're going to move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. I usually blend out the guidelines and then move on to my next step, but first I'm gonna make sure I lay out my home cabins first for you guys and then you guys can see how I blend it out. Now we're going back to our initial guideline and we're gonna slightly close our lever midway and all the way close and attack that initial guideline to blend it out completely. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to our one guard. As you guys can see, we're gonna use this guard to slightly soften up this line and get ready for the half guard. Now that we're done softening up the line, we can move on to our half guard and we're going to use the corners and this lever to erase the line completely. This is going to help us collect the no guard all the way open to the one guard all the way open. Now that we're done with our lower guards, we can move on to our two guard all the way open and create our fourth guideline.
Now that we're done softening up the line with the two guard, we can move on to our one and a half guard and erase the line completely. Sometimes after using your 1.5 guard, there's still a faint line, so switching over to your 1 guard all the way open and using your corners would definitely help. You always want to stay consistent as possible with each guideline, especially when you're trying to erase it. Moving on to our clipper over coat method, I'm going to make sure I use my vertical cuts to make sure that the fade is as smooth as possible and I'm also going to be bulk with my horizontal cuts if needed. Remember you pick up the hair first with your comb and then you cut with your cutting blade. Moving on to our sheer oval comb, we're going to make sure we thin out the hair as much as possible. Remember these shears are to always thin out the hair and deep bulk, they aren't to just cut hair. Now we're going to switch over to our foreguard all the way closed and open and we're going to deep bulk as much as possible near the ridge area. As you can see, there's enough bulk near the ridge area to be thinned out, so we're gonna go back to our shears and use our comb to pick up the hair. Now that we're done with our thinning shears, we can move on to the back and we're going to use our three guard all the way open to debulk the back and use the comb to feed the hair into the clipper. Now that we're done debulking the hair, we can move on to our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. You want to make this guideline around an inch thick so you can spread the blend, especially when you're near the back and the occipital of bone. Remember to always slightly close the lever midway and all the way close and erase that initial guideline. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. Remember, we're going to use this same guard and its lever to soften up this line and get ready for the half guard. Now that we're done softening up the line with the one guard and its lever, we can move on to the half guard and erase the line completely. Don't be afraid to use your opposite hand to stretch the skin, as you can see. I'm Moving on to our two guard all the way open, this is going to help us create our fourth guideline and also connect the lower guards to the top guards on top. Now that we're done softening up the line with our two guard, we can move on to the one and a half guard and erase the line completely. A 
Again, just like the sides, there's always a faint line after using your one and a half guard, so switching over to your one guard all the way open will definitely help. Now we're going to detail as much as possible with our lower guards, especially near the occipital bone area. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We really appreciate it. Also, if you guys want to show some extra support, go ahead and leave a follow down in Instagram. Our three guard is also definitely going to help us blend into the top in the calic area, especially using our comb to feed the hair into the clipper. Using our clipper over comb method, we're going to debulk and also create the silhouette near the calic area because this is a very difficult area. You want to leave as much weight here as possible without leaving it too bulky where it overhangs and looks disconnected from the haircut. Now I'm retracing with my 3 guard and my 2 guard and I'm going to detail as much as possible especially near the occipital bone and on top of the occipital bone. Using our thinner shears we're going to debulk it, the calic area and make it as smooth as possible and make it fall without having a heavy ridge. Now that we're done with the back, we can move on to our gold FX and line up the C cups. I always start off at the bottom and work my way to the top arch using the corners of the blade. I'm also going as slow as possible, making sure that the hair feeds into the teeth of the trimmer. Now we're moving on to the other side of the C cup and we're going to make sure we're as gentle as possible and match each side and keep it as consistent as possible as we can. Now that we're done matching up our C cups, we can move on to our shears and create our first guideline on the top of the capitis. You want to stay as consistent as possible with this guideline and auto match it to the sides, which is going to help us complete the blend. 